We're going to start this morning with senior medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres. So, Dr. Torres, let's let's start with that study, because we haven't seen those kinds of numbers, I, I think, since last winter, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct. What's behind them and what does that tell us about COVID in our children? And right, Greg, we haven't seen those numbers since the winter. Those certainly aren't numbers we want to see. But what we are seeing are these children getting more infected, and unfortunately more of them are ending up in a hospital as well. The reason this is happening is because as numbers overall go up, children are going to get infected as well. And so they're being essentially drug along with these higher case counts. And this is the unvaccinated that are causing this issue of these widespread outbreaks around the country. Now, these numbers aren't as accurate as we'd like them to be because some states are reporting children 0 to 14-year-olds. Other states are saying, zero to 20 years old but at the same time we do know that absolutely numbers are going up we need to do what we can to protect the children Craig all right we, we reached out to a parent group um, dr. Torres to talk about or to ask about the number one topic of conversation no surprise perhaps uh, masking this is a question uh, this is a question from Terry Terry's a mom of two young children our son is high risk but he really needs in-person learning what should we do Dr. Torres, what do you say? In an ideal situation, everybody in the school would be masked, teachers, staff, all the students, but we know that's not how it is across the, world, across the country right now. And so the main thing to do is, number one, make sure your child wears a mask. That's extremely important. And talk to them about wearing a mask all day long. On top of that, look for what's happening in the classroom. Are they social distancing? Are they staying in pods or cohorts? Are they staying in classrooms where they have these assigned pods? And then find out about testing protocols. What's happening there? You know, talk to the teacher. Even though masks aren't required, are most students wearing masks or are most students not wearing masks? And then at that point, you might need to make a decision and say, I'm going to pull them out of the classroom for a while, unfortunately. But at the same time, you want to make sure your child is protected as possible. So the main point is just do your homework right now before they go to school so you understand what's going on while they're in school, Craig. All right. Here's for information. Dr. Torres, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.